Well, good morning, everyone. I uh, hope your day has gotten started uh, in a good way. Let me just uh, continue to encourage you to share these on your Facebook page and uh, let your friends uh, get a word of encouragement. Today we're going to be reading from Job 23rd chapter and verse number 10 writes, But he knows the way that I take when he has tested me. I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. You know, when we look at where we are right now, life is challenging. It's just challenging. Uh, we are isolated. Um, we're wearing masks and gloves and hand sanitizer and everything else. And, and I mean, this is a difficult time. These are difficult cir circumstances. And this is an unexpected tragedy that has come upon us. And on top of that, just the daily challenges make life difficult. And, and what we're dealing with right now, it, it's no respecter of, of race, of class, of status. Uh, we're all in this thing together. We're all facing the same thing. The billionaire and the pauper are facing the same thing right now. Well, Job was a man that, that faced trials that would really crush the average uh, individual. But he understood how to handle them. When, when he faced him. And his ability to keep his faith in God while facing his challenges was the direct result of his desire to have a knowledge of God's faithfulness. You see, when others would have cursed God, Job just resolved, you know what? We're going to trust God. Uh, I don't understand this. I don't, I don't see what all is going on. But Job's just saying, you know what? In spite of what comes, I'm going to trust God. And, and if we're going to last when, when the trials come, and I, I think we could say that what we're dealing with right now is a trial, you got to hold fast to the only thing that lasts forever, which is God's Word. Uh, Job saw the faithfulness of God. And, and did you catch what he said? He said, I've treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. In other words, Job said, you know what? God's word is more important to me in the trial than food is for my body. Because he understood that, that God's word sustains, that God's word endures, and that it empowers us to push through the challenges of life. So let me just encourage you today. Sink your heart, your mind into the Word of God and allow it to speak to you and to see you through the, this trial. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you today for your Word that it lasts, that it endures, and it sustains and empowers. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 